Okay, I'm here at, uh, we're going to check out, do our first management inspection of this package hive that we did. Put in two packages last week. It's been seven full days. So we're going to check on acceptance. We're going to look for eggs today. So, and from now on, we need our smoker going. Whenever we open up a hive, we got to have a smoker going. You remember, right, I, I held this one feeder pail back a little bit just because we had gotten some uh, some bees in that uh, inside the box where the feeder pail was so I bought some more pro sweet so I can fill this pail up again because that's what they're gonna they're gonna be drawing out comb the whole time so so now we're gonna open this up we're gonna look get remove that make sure the queen was released first and foremost and uh, make sure there's eggs in here. So when you open up a hive, we always start at the outside frame and work our way in. The odds of the queen being there are very low. The bees are bringing in pollen. It's a beautiful day. It's in the 60s. So if we look at this side, you can see the bees are starting to uh, draw some comb they're putting up nectar in the cells there that's what's happening right there and some pollen I can see some pollen going in there so they're just getting started on this frame they'll be more serious on these next couple frames here so first let's see we're gonna pull out the cage and make sure the queen has been released and that marshmallow is gone that marshmallow was right there and I see that's gone Cage is empty. Remember that was a Jay-Z Beezy cage. They even ate out all the candy from the inside out. So the candy's gone also. So they really had the feed bag on. So if we're looking at this. And let's see. Oh, I can see little tiny grubs in there. I don't know if this thing's gonna get gonna see it at all. I see eggs in there. And I see grubs, so I know the queen has been accepted and it's queen right. Now, no queen right. Now, normally I always tell people, you can close it up, you don't have to look anymore, because the more we look, the more we may accidentally kill the queen. But I know how everybody likes to see their queen and uh, this one is marked, so she should be fairly easy to spot. I'm not going to go look real hard for her, but I'll give her a second. Check another frame. This one appears to be a little bit more. They've done a little bit more. Well, a little more wax, maybe. They are storing more nectar in the hair. On this one frame. Same thing here, more nectar. But we did see eggs, so that was a great sign. Now they're just in a bind. They guess got to make this, make more wax. That's where they're at right now. They got to make more wax. They have been, so now they haven't eaten a lot of that pollen. They've eaten some, but it's because they haven't, uh, they're just starting to, uh, get the larvae going and as soon as the larvae are uh, they are, are are getting start, uh, get get bigger they will uh, they will get eat more of that pollen so you can see if we blow on it get them out of our way you can see all that glistening syrup underneath there in the in the cells so i don't see the queen in this one nothing obvious We'll do a quick look again, just to look. Now these could be a mixture, when a package, it could be a mixture of, and it is a mixture of all sorts of bees, because they're, they're gonna be here just for the life uh for the first 30 days oh there's the queen right there she's got a white dot on her this year let's see if we can 
see her. She is right by the tip of my hive tool. Right there, white dot. That is a Saskatraz queen. White is the color this year for the year ending in one and six, maybe. I guess I don't know. So, this hive is good. Pleased with that outcome. Top off this pail. Get it open. Sometimes you just need bare fingers. I have my jug of Pro Sweet. This is a two and a half gallon jug. It's a little, e little easier to handle. A little more money, but it's easier to handle for me. I want to save some for the other hive. That's enough in there so it won't leak. It'll get a vacuum pretty easy. Now that's going to be good for a, another week. And then we'll go check the other one real quick. Okay, again with some smoke on the entrance. Peter pail. They both took about the same. They took about right around two thirds of the pail they took down. You gotta be careful, you just don't want to pull this off there because all of a sudden you'll, the whole lid will open up and you'll have syrup all over the place. That's happened to me before. I always like to do a quick scan to make sure I don't see a queen on here. So same deal, we want to make sure the queen's laying, that's what we're looking for today. We start from the outside in. So those other hive, that other one, we had about, well, they're working on maybe four frames, and that's looks the same scenario here. Same scenario there. There is the frame full of comb with syrup in it. I do see some eggs in here. You see eggs there right right in there that where it's really white. If the, if the camera will see that little white eggs in the back of the cell sitting against the back of the on the black. You'll see the little white egg looking out at you. Okay, I do not see the queen. Still wanna, so she obviously she's out of the cage, so that is a done deal. So 
Same thing, they've consumed all of the candy and the marshmallow, that's long gone. And this is all icy eggs in this in the cells here. Here they hardly have any wax going and they were, there's eggs in there. And I don't see the queen here. Maybe she's on the next one. Frame was noticeably heavier because they're storing all that syrup there. Sometimes they can't make as much wax. If it's cool weather, they don't make as much wax, and it's and the core gets filled with syrup right away instead of getting more brood laying in there. So hopefully we'll have some warmer, steadier weather coming up soon. It's not going to happen next week, but hopefully that'll happen pretty. We'll get into some steadier weather. Well, I really don't see her at all today. I'm not going to look real hard. We'll look on this, close it up here, and I'll look on the next frame as we're closing up. But I think we are not, never say never. And we're looking to make sure that's a nice steak pattern and she's laying and she's hitting every hole that's open. She's got, she's laying eggs in there. All right, we're gonna be done looking. And they are bringing pollen. You can see the pollen on their legs. Dandelions are just starting to bloom a little bit. Okay, we want to make sure all the frames are tight together, otherwise they'll make the comb funky. We want funky comb. There's the pollen patty. They're eating a little bit of it. Still looking for that queen. You never know where she's going to be. All right, we'll fill up the, this pail. We'll top it off with some pro sweet. Leave that hole partially open so these bees can get back down inside. That doesn't really hurt anything to do that. Okay, that is it. That is our first check for our bees in the series of manage this colony, well, these two colonies, all summer long and make videos on it. So this was our first inspection. Everything, everything was as planned is that's what we we're looking for so in that part was a success I'm gonna loosen up my camera here we'll just kind of 
look up, take a quick eyeball of these other colonies. My overwintered colonies. These have good populations in them. And uh, all flying pretty good today. It looks like this one on the end really seems to be have it going. If you look at that real close, you see them bringing in pollen. But they're utilizing the lower entrance and the upper entrance. That's good. So we know the bees are going to be in all those boxes. Occupying them. Hopefully we're getting a lot of brood because we're going to have to think about doing some divides sometime in the very near future. They're going to be swarming here pretty soon if we we don't uh, if we don't stay ahead of it. But uh, I think they all look pretty darn good. So uh, next week, we're going to check these colonies again next week and the package bees. And hopefully we'll see, uh, we should see maybe some cat brood in there and uh, expansion of the brood nest. So they should be getting expanding that out and we'll see more eggs and uh, brood in uh, maybe on another frame or two. So that's it for this week. So thanks for watching.